This is Anna for Shiny Shiny and Tech Digest, and we're here with the iPad again. Um, and one of the big selling points of this slim little device is the App Store, which unfortunately we can't access the full range of because this gadget isn't yet out in the UK. So all we can get at the minute are the free apps. But maybe you'd be interested in the free apps because it's going to set you back £429 minimum when it does come out. So the free apps are going to be quite a good idea. Anyway, we've selected five of the ones that we particularly like um, and we just thought we'd, uh, we'd run them through with you. Um, big apps on the iPad are going to be games because it's such a lovely screen, really pretty to look at, nice touch interface. So there's lots of great games out there. We're not looking at any of them. <laughs> there's lots of great media apps as well. So like magazines and newspapers. Um, but again, we're just going to be focusing on the stuff which uniquely uses the kind of capabilities of the iPad. So it's not just a, a nice screen for reading. It's not just a little game interface. So these five fun sort of British free iPad apps. Let's start with London HD, which is a free app. Um, it's not very exciting from the homepage. I mean, picture of a street, a map of London, and a list of street names is all around London. Okay, you know, that's a picture of a street, not very exciting. But what is good is that it helps you just know what the traffic's like in those particular areas. So say, for example, there you can see what the traffic is like in Piccadilly Circus. Um, switch somewhere else, you can see what it's like in um, Black Prince on the A2, Kingston Road. It's pretty useful for motorists for wanting to know what the traffic's like at any given time. It's not a live, it's not live footage, but that is pictures taken every five minutes. Gives you a good idea when you want to go. You can move up and down the street by clicking, whoops, yep, just clicking on different spots with traffic cameras and um, just seeing what different places are like. Pretty useful for motorists. Um, another one we like is um, LBC. Um, it's a radio. That considered a lie. There we go. Oh, that's definitely that's, that's Radio Birmingham there. Um, basically, you can scroll through all their kind of portfolio of channels um, and you can listen to any of them from for free, um, selecting by dance music or R&B, whatever you're into. They could do a lot more with this app. I mean, it's currently just playing the radio and showing you a picture of the website. They can make it a lot more interactive. But we like what they're trying to do by bringing all the services together in one place and making it easy access, easy to navigate. Number three, we're going to look at Twitter apps. Um, We've got one I particularly like is Twitterific. Um, looks good. Yep, nice big interface. Scroll through, quite responsive. Good. Um, you want to write, click there, and you can sort of, it's quite a nice, easy interface screen. One I was disappointed with, TweetDeck. Use it on the web, really like it. It's just a bit too complicated on the iPad. A bit fiddly, slow, not responsive enough. It's refusing to load. Oh, there we go. But you can see it's just a little bit, it's not quite up to date with what I'm trying to do. Not a big fan. Um, another nice one is Tweet, which, um, which my boss is a fan of. Um, just another option. Quite nice to see, massive screen, easy to read, nice white background. Cool. Fourth, um, this is one I particularly like. It is um, Adobe, Adobe Ideas. Basically, you can um, just create a little page and um, just do a little scribble. So, whatever, I'm not sure what I'm writing there. But anyway, you can just scribble out ideas. Um, it changes them into little file JPEGs. You can email them to yourself. It's a great way of making notes. It's like having a little notebook to hand. Quite fun, quite friendly. You can send them to your friends as well. Um, uses the touch screen nicely. Number five, um, I'm just going to show you perhaps one for the ladies. It's um, All Saints shopping app, um, which lets you scroll through items in their store. It's just quite a nice way to browse fashion goods. Um, iPad's such a nice screen that it's kind of fun way of checking out stuff that's in store. So let's see, it's not always the most responsive. Okay, right, so there's an item. You can choose to buy it. There's a the price. You can add to bag. 
gives you sizes, etc, etc. Um, pretty cute and a nice way of looking at pretty things. Um, yeah, and then you can scroll through different, uh, yeah, there you go. And you can get different views of the same item as well. So I find that's quite fun. Just good, sexy way of browsing through nice clothes. Good, clean fun. And um, yeah, we'll be posting more reviews of paid for apps when we finally get access to the iPads, which is now looking like the 7th of June. So until that date, shiny, shiny and a review of free iPad apps.